Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to discuss my most anticipated films of 2019. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification to put out videos daily. You can also find me over at Twitter at Movie Guy 365. We are leaving a wonderful year of movies and 2018 I think has been great for it hasn't, it's been a good good year for just your typical Hollywood fare, you know, your dramas and things, but it's also been very good for us, you know, comic book guys and gals. It's just been a great movie year all around. And I feel that 2019 has a great potential. If I had a, a little bit of a complaint, or not even a complaint, it's a concern, is a lot of the movies on my list and a lot of movies coming out in 2019 are sequels. They're sequels, they're franchise, you know, films, they're movies that just are part of an existing thing, and I don't feel that's necessarily a bad thing, but uh, there's very, there's only like, you know, like one or two movies on my whole list for 2019 that aren't, you know, a sequel. They're an original IP of some sort. I understand that we're going through a, a, a Hollywood ebb and flow kind of thing as far as these movies go but needless to say i i'm excited to see what the future holds i know there's going to be some films out there that are on this list that you know may not live up to to what i i'm expecting or there's going to be movies that i don't even know about that are going to be amazing there's movies on my top uh, 2018 list uh that video will be coming out shortly that I never, I never anticipated it in enjoying as much as I did. And I like those surprises. So I'm looking forward to the surprises equally as much as the movies that are currently on my 2019 list. So without further ado, my number 10 is going to be Spider-Man Far From Home. This one's pretty low on my list. Uh, I think it just, part of it is, you know, the mystery surrounding Avengers Endgame and, and, the, and the Marvel MCU just post Endgame. And... There's a lot of ambiguity. And while that can be good, I think too much can be can can just downplay your expectations. So that's kind of how I'm approaching Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm I'm excited to see it. I, I'm looking forward to seeing a post-MCU endgame kind of world. But as far as the other comic book movies go that are in, in my 2019 list, this is just at near the bottom. It's just it's not saying negative anything about it. I just know too little about it too. And I guess we're, you, you really have to take it based off of Homecoming, which while it's an okay film, I felt it could have been a better Spider-Man movie. And, you know, given that we just got Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, which was nothing short of amazing, I feel Spider-Man can still do better as a character. So uh, that's what I'm looking forward to as far as, as uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. I want to I get into that that mode. I mean, he was great in, in uh, Infinity War and Civil War, of course, but I want to see more. So my number nine is going to be the Jordan Peele horror movie, Us. This one just made it on my list, and it was based off a, a very creepy, good trailer. I'm excited to see what a post-Get Out director does. We know that Jordan Peele can deliver. Uh, I think he's proved it with Get Out. It's a great film. I'm excited for it. But I, I want to see, once again, I think it, it kind of suffers a little bit from just coming almost out of nowhere as far as marketing goes. I, I, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. But, and I, you know, it's, I want to see, I want to see more movies like this. And I want to see more movies like this on my top 10. But as I said, a lot of this is going to be sequel stuff. But as far as originals go, I think Us is, is going to be able to deliver. My number eight is it's a it's a it's a it's a movie that I'm looking forward to because I thought the trailer just it was amazing it, it was it caught me off guard it's a great play on the the notion of an evil Superman and what we can get you know of course that's been done in in comic books for years you know you had Ultraman and you have you know, uh, you know, the series Irredeemable, the, uh, you know, it's just, that's been done in literature, but not to the degree in the movies. 
And I think that if if James Gunn is a creative force behind it, while not being the director, I think this is going to be potentially the surprise, the breakout comic, quote unquote, comic book type movie of 2019. I think I, I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see it. But yeah, I, I think uh, I think we're off to a good start with this, and I, I I love the trailer. So I'm looking forward to Brightburn. I think that'll 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 be probably the surprise on my list for 2019. My number seven is it's a movie that unfortunately it's not getting a lot of hype. It for considering it's a Marvel movie. There's, you know, it, it's really coming out in, in three months, in, in two and a half months, practically. And it, it's just, it's being very, you know, there's not a lot behind it. There's not a lot, I know that Marvel's marketing it. And I'm speaking about Captain Marvel. This one is probably my biggest question mark. I think that given the MCU pedigree, it's going to be okay but is it going to be more like an Ant-Man and the Wasp level? Or is are we going to be start hitting Avengers levels or Thor, Ragnarok? or I would rather see that. I would rather see the latter. I, I want to see more of a you know wow me factor. I'm just not getting it from the trailers yet. We'll get there, I think. I think it'll be a good movie. But I'm very anxious to see the finished product. I'm going to stay away from any kind of uh, marketing as much as possible. But this one is is it's purely up there because it is a Marvel movie. Um, I, I'm a big fan of it, and surprising, you know, it, it, it could surprise us. So you know, Captain Marvel, you know, let, let's hope for the best. My number six, my my top six have been my top six since early 2018. I'm not gonna lie, my my bottom my bottom four have literally been just either new additions or been moving around or not even on the list. But on, but my top six has been in this order since early 2018. So, but my number six is John Wick 3 Parabellum. I cannot wait for this. I'm beyond excited. I think two was amazing. One set the bar for the series. It's, it's, I, uh, and this is another one. We don't have a trailer yet. We should be getting trailers for this very soon. I believe it does come out in May. But John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. I want to see this. I want to see what... This is what I want. I wanted The Dark Knight Rises to be. Uh, and I felt that The Dark Knight and the ending to John Wick were very similar. It's, a, it's almost the exact same ending. But where I think that The Dark Knight Rises failed was just, it was a lot of factors I won't get into. But I think John Wick 3 is taking that ball and running with it. I think we are, this is what we would have gotten if Dark Knight Rises would have would have worked in that vein, you know, with how it's set up at the, dark, at the end of Dark Knight. But I want to see this. John Wick on the run, you know, that's that to me is, is going to be worth my ticket all alone. I'm excited for John Wick 3, beyond, beyond excited, but... And pretty much my top six is just it's just amazing. You know, I can't wait for it. But John Wick 3, or John, yeah, just, I can't wait. Now my number five. Uh, this, in all honesty, should be higher on my list. But I think it's fine where it is. I, I Considering what I believe is ahead of it, it's going to be good. I don't know if it'll be great. But that's Star Wars Episode Nine. I, you know, I, I, I could get into a huge conversation, obviously, with Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Maybe I'll do that when we get closer to Episode 9. I'll put a video on my thoughts about the series for, for so far. But I feel that given what we have and what we know and all that other stuff, I think it's fine at, at num my number five. It, it, I don't feel it's an insult to the series. I think it's just for the level of excitement that's an appropriate number for me. I'm excited for it. I will be there opening nights. Just, I, I'm very happy with with what we can potentially get. So yeah, Star Wars Episode Nine, no title currently, but yeah, I, I think I think we're we could get something that's gonna just be amazing, or you know, is it gonna be divisive like the Last Jedi was? I guess we'll find out in in, in about a year. Or so yeah. <laughs> My number four 
is It Chapter 2. I absolutely loved It. I, I think it was a near-perfect movie in my opinion. It was, it was right there as far as, as, as a perfect movie could get for me. It, it was in my, top, in my top list of 2017, and the, the hype and the excitement behind Chapter 2, that's going to be very hard to just contain. It's, it's, I'm, I'm on board. I can't wait to see it. I want to see, see a trailer. I want to see... Just get me there. I think we'll be getting close to a trailer soon, but uh, I, I want to see how this wraps up. I want to see... Potentially, this could be a perfect duo movie. It, it could just be, you know... Kind of like how, how I feel Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame kind of will complement each other or they'll just be completely different films. I want to see that, that duo. I want to see a, a perfect duo. And I think it, Chapter 2 has that potential. So I'm excited. My number three is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I'm a giant monster fan just in general. I love anything Godzilla. I love anything... Kaiju. I love, you know, the Pacific Rims. I love the, just any kind of, well, maybe not the last Pacific Rim, but I like, I like giant monsters. I want to see fights. I want, you know, movies like Rampage, I like because they're giant monsters. I don't like it for any other reason. It's just, it's just, I want to see good stuff. I want to see destruction. I want to see, I want to see a real badass Godzilla film. I want to see, you know, Mothra, King Ghidorah. I, I want to see all of these monsters. And Wet my appetite for Kong vs. Godzilla because that will be my, my most anticipated in, I believe it's next year that comes out. Or, yeah, 2020. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but when that comes out, I'll, that's going to be on my list as well. I just, I love giant monster movies. And as long as they're done right in some way, you will forever have a fan with me about that. You know, just, I, 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 I can't wait for that one. And the trailers have sold me over and over again. So, yeah, Godzilla King of the Monsters. And my number two is Glass. Uh, I, I'm excited for this. I think M. Night Shyamalan is back. I loved Split. I love Unbreakable. To see the, these worlds collide in this movie, I think could be brilliant. It's going to wrap up a trilogy. I don't know if they're going to do anything beyond that. I guess we'll have to see the movie, but yes. And, we're, and, and happily, this movie comes out in about three weeks. I can't wait for it. I, 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 I'm going to be geeking out all month long about Glass, so, you know, just, you know, watch videos for that. But, yeah, uh, Glass, I, I, I think we're going to have something really great here. I can't wait for it. So, yeah, Glass. And my number one, no surprise. It's really no surprise. Avengers Endgame. Uh, this, this is going to be, I think, a culmination of everything we had in the MCU it's going to move things forward, but it's also going to put a lot of things, you know, to rest. And, you know, I, we know so little about this movie, but I feel that that's okay. You know, I, I'm, I keep debating in my mind, back and forth. Should I just stay away from the trailers from now on? Like, I saw the first trailer, it got me, but should I just... I'm really going to try to go into this movie blind as possible. Which when you're when you're having a YouTube channel based off of comic book movies and other movies, that's gonna be very difficult. So that'll be a very interesting juggling act that I go through in the next you know four months. But yeah, I can't wait to see uh, Avengers Endgame. I'm excited. We got the title, first trailer. The hype the hype is going to be getting. You know we're we're, we're getting into that Captain Marvel uh, thing and you know just. I can't wait for it. I, I really can't wait for it. I'm going to be doing lots of coverage about it. Avengers Endgame. Just amazing stuff coming. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my top 10 list of 2019. Now, this was a hard list to put together. I understand that, you know, DC has a couple movies coming out. They do have Shazam. They do have um, the Joker movie. But those are, you know, even despite Aquaman being a great movie, in my opinion... I'm still not, they, they're nowhere near on my list. And I would say maybe a top 20, I might throw one on there, but I'm, I'm going to absolutely go see them. But yeah, just, uh, there's a lot of unknowns and, and, you know, until we know more, I can't really fairly put that on, uh, on my list, but leave in the comments below. What are you excited about for 2019 in, at the movies? I, I, 
would love to hear your thoughts. What is exciting you? So please leave your comments. And as always, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.